When the Arabs initially encountered mummified bodies, their dark colour reminded them of bitumen known to them as mum. Hence, the Arabs called the bodies mumia, after the blackest material they knew. However, in 2016, scientist K. A. Clark and team decided to undergo the investigation of exactly how much bitumen was used in the Egyptian mummification compounds. The researchers investigated 91 materials comprising balms, tissues and textiles from 39 mummies dating from 3200 BC to AD 395. They targeted petroleum bitumen biomarkers. Surprisingly, they found that during the Old, Middle and New Kingdoms of Egypt, that none of the mummification compounds contained any detectable bitumen. This proved that the blackness of the mummified Egyptians required some other explanation. It was either the result of some other, hitherto unknown darkening compound, or simply the expression of the natural pigmentation of high melanin levels. This seems to be supported when observing the mummifications of Asians and Peruvian samples who retain close to natural skin pigmentation. However, in addition to that, after 1000 BC, during the Third Intermediary Period, it was during this time, a period of foreign rule in Egypt, largely the result of Mediterranean invasion, that we do find the introduction of bitumen into the mummification compounds. Seemingly, it was deliberately added to blacken the compounds. This would indicate that the foreign dynasties sought to artificially attain the same blackness that they observed occurring naturally amongst the native populations. This fabrication of blackness thus aligning them with the colour of the natives and the gods and improving their transition and favour in the afterlife. 